Winter Weather Awareness Week continues and severe winter weather comes in many forms from extreme cold to freezing rain, snow and wind. Meteorologist Andrew Tutt joins us now with more on weather alerts that are issued by the National Weather Service during winter. Andrew? Well, Patrick, I'll start off with some of those lower end winter weather alerts and we'll start off with winter weather advisory. Now these are typically issued when around three to five inches of snow is forecast. It's also not uncommon if you get around a two inch forecast of snow early on in the year to see one of these winter weather advisories. The preliminary issue though is just because it's an early season snowfall, but with winter weather advisories, not uncommon to see blowing and drifting snow and it doesn't just cover snow, also covers that wintry mix and freezing drizzle. Now, winter storm watch, on the other hand, is generally when that winter storm is going to approach the area in about one to three days. So the computer models uh, notify us that there's a strong storm that is headed our way. Winter storm watch would be issued, so it's more of a planning stage. Now, winter storm warning is when that storm actually arrives. So it's when the dangerous winter weather is actually occurring or is expected in the very near future. It's commonly associated with snowfall of six inches or more strong winds. And this video in the background is from winter storm Julia a couple of years back, so you can see some fairly decent snowfall out of these winter storm warnings. Now a blizzard warning, a little bit different here, and it comes down to the wind speeds. With blizzard warnings, you get wind gusts 35 miles per hour or higher, visibility is down to a quarter mile or less, and the video in the background, that is from Blizzard Allison. That is our last blizzard that we saw. It was December of last year, and we picked up 14.7 inches in Green Bay.